Victoria Di Natale is on a mission to snuff out bullying in schools. She was a victim in middle and high school. I developed post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a disorder that many more veterans develop. I developed a stress cough, and this, this coughing was severe. It took Dina Talley two years to overcome her trauma. She's now a senior at Armstrong Atlantic College and also gives motivational talks like this one in Columbia. Dina Talley is not alone as a victim. Bullying led to the death of 15-year-old Amanda Todd. The Canadian teen posted her bullying story on YouTube before committing suicide earlier this month. South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson says there are no laws against bullying, but it can lead to severe crimes. I've prosecuted cases involving uh, criminal sexual assault type cases as well as uh, assault and battery cases and, and some of the harassment and stalking cases in which bullying was a precursor. Wilson says cyberbullying in particular is a major problem. His office along with other state agencies are trying to raise awareness. They're school resource officers. If you are a parent uh, of a child in school or you're the child listening to this right now, you have a school resource office uh, officer. If you're being bullied and stalked or harassed, the person doing it could be committing a crime. You need to be able to feel like you can go speak to your school resource officer or your guidance counselor or a teacher. The South Carolina Association of School Administrators is also implementing brand new bullying programs throughout the state to educate children at young ages, hoping to prevent another tragedy. There is help for you. Suicide is not an option. And even when you feel like no one is there for every person that won't help you, there is someone who will help that Dina Talley hopes to give children facing the same challenges she did. In Columbia, Zoheb Hasnali, Watch Fox News.